The car is packed up. We got new forged wheels that I'm gonna be putting on today. But the first thing that's important with a forged wheel is how much does it weigh? So we're gonna see how much these weigh. I have, I'm not gonna hide them from you. Here they are. I had them aerodynamically tested. Now you may be asking yourself, Ben, what brand is that? What brand is that? These are from China. A friend of mine is friends with an OEM in China. And he was like, look, we can, you know, they can custom make any wheel you want. So I said, I kind of want something that's like, has the flow of the OEM wheel. You can see like aerodynamically, they have some effectiveness to them. So these are aerodynamically tested in the CAD system to make sure they're efficient with wind flowing over them. You can see how they're kind of recessed back in. So very interested to see what these weigh and then how they look on my Model Y. All right, so I have this sophisticated scale. You see this one I stole from the kitchen and this one I stole from the bathroom. Those of you women out there that watch this channel and you're mad at your husband, um, oh my God, oh, there's something wrong with me. So to those of you women out there that are mad at your husband for whatever reason, Jamie is now going to go, hey, where's the scale at? And I'm gonna go, oh shoot, it's in the garage. So, you know, we all have our faults, uh, but let's check what this wheel weighs. All right, 26.8, so about 27 pounds. We'll just say 27, and then honestly, that's kind of disappointing because I was told these wheels were gonna weigh in the low 20s because they're forged wheels. So already, we're disappointed with these. All right, OEM wheel. Just got it all cleaned up, cleaned out the barrels and everything, which is really nice. Now, when you pick it up, it's kind of fascinating. The weight of the wheel in the front, it really likes to tilt forward, uh, whereas the other forged wheel I put on the Model Y did not do that. So let's see what this weighs. Uh, yeah. yeah, get on there. So there you go, about a 32 pound wheel compared to 27 pounds for the forged wheels. So we're looking at a five pound weight savings per wheel, which is actually fairly significant. The other thing you need when you're putting new wheels on your car is a TPMS set. I wanted to get a second set. I found this website called Tesloid and they have the Tesla OEM TPMS set for significantly less than they have it listed on Tesla's website. So, so you're looking at like $75 for one of these compared to 95 from Tesla. So I actually have a 10% discount code linked in the description. I'll show you a few of their other products in a little bit, but yeah, awesome website and they were nice enough to share a discount code with all of you. Another question that people generally have is how are these wheels going to affect the efficiency of the car? So I've already done a baseline test with the stock wheels and the roof rack. So we're gonna be testing the efficiency of these new wheels as well. I'm interested to see what my stock wheels weigh. I'm going to wheel specialists in Tempe, Arizona to get these installed. I've always gone to Discount Tire. Discount Tire does a really nice job but I wanted someone who's gonna be a little more careful and used to putting on you know, aftermarket wheels and I wanted them to take care of them. So that's why I'm going to wheel specialist this time. I've already taken my Macan there to get my wheels balanced and they just did an excellent job. They even go to the detail of using, like if I have a black wheel I'm putting on, they'll use the black weights to blend them and not just like the cheap ones that Discount Tire uses. Now Discount Tire will use the black weights if they have them. So you have to like plan all that ahead, whereas these guys will just do it. All right, so the new wheels are on. We had a, a little issue that I did not expect to take a turn in this video. I'll explain that in a minute, but right before we do that, I wanna show you the sponsor of this video, Tesloid. They have some really cool products. So as I mentioned earlier, I got my TPMS sensors from Tesloid. They have some incredible products on their website, and I'll have them linked in the description along with a 10% discount code. One of the things that they have here is this inflatable mattress. It's only 90 bucks, comes with this little Looks like a turbo, but it's really just an air pump. So let's pump this up and see how it is because we just had a long lunch and I'm gonna take a nap in this parking lot. All right, mattress is blown up. I mean, that's solid. Got some nice head pillows here. Probably put your suitcase, it's actually, I'm surprised how, I'm six feet tall, so I can actually lay. This is not bad at all. Dude, screw camping, laying in the dirt. For idiots. It has these nice little like side bolsters here. Gotta use the word bolster in some way to 
kind of protect the side of it. Room for two people for 90 bucks. This isn't bad at all. The key that I've found with this product is do most of the blowing with the compressor, but then to top it off, you just pull off this first layer. Get a nice, look at that. See how nice that is? Nice hard seal in there. Boy's got some gills on them. Yeah, nice product for 90 bucks. They also have the Tesloid cooler for your frunk. It's $119. And you can just see, just being able to store things on one side of it, things that don't need to be in the cooler, other side have some ice cold drinks in there. I just think they have some really nice products. And with my 10% discount code, you'll save a little bit on whatever you order. They even have a Model Y camping tent. So Tesloid, thank you guys for sponsoring the video. I appreciate it. And guys, check out their website next time you need to get some Tesla Model Y, 3, S or X accessories. They have a lot there. Now back to it. All right, the reveal of the wheels on the car. I thought the design of the wheel was really good, but I wasn't exactly sure how was it gonna look on the car. So here it is. 20 inch forged wheel. Now these weigh 27 pounds. So I'm slightly disappointed with the weight of them. I'm about to do a range test and efficiency test on that. So stick around. Now you also notice that the brake calipers are now black. I did not ask them to do that. There was a miscommunication with wheel specialists. I looked over and the guy was like spraying something. I thought it was a lubricant. I was like not that close to them as they were doing it. I was so interested. Walked over, I was like, hey, like, what are you spraying on there? And he was like, oh, it's just spray paint. I was like, uh, what? Uh, so <laughs> they, they painted the calipers black. Admittedly, they do actually look very good. I, my plan was to actually get them professionally done, so I'm still going to do that, but I think I'm gonna go with black because it does look really good. So they ended up actually cleaning my whole suspension out for me since they made that mistake. I don't want this to come off like I don't recommend wheel specialists. And I paid for it, it's not sponsored or anything. It cost me $350 for the lugs to get them mounted and balanced and all that stuff. I don't know why they're beeping. But yeah, they look, I mean, how good does this design look? I'm interested to see if they're just as efficient but these lugs look incredible. Again, you have the Tesla logo there. You have the unplugged suspension still behind there, which that's been riding nicely, but it just makes, I don't know, it's just the way the lip of the wheel, the, you know, it, the wheel doesn't stick out like the OEM wheels do. And then these tires just really pop, just like a really aggressive meat market look. Welcome to the meat market, folks. Look at those things. They just look incredible. And as you can see, the uh, directional efficiency of the wheel. They sent me some CAD images of the wheels as they were being developed, just showing how air would interact with the wheel as it's spinning. And then you can also see down there the unplugged sway bars, which I have on the medium setting. I think I need to take it to a more aggressive setting. But the car is coming in along nicely. So the other question that you guys may have is, what did these cost? These cost approximately $2,600. Shipping was about $400, so about $3,000. Then another $350 to get them installed, so about $3,400. My plan was to test these, make sure they're quality wheels. These come with a five-year warranty and all that stuff, and then potentially sell them. I would like to sell them and make about $1,000 per set. So if I were to sell them, I think it would be about a $4,000 to $4,400 wheel. But again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. If you guys are interested in these wheels, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Send me an email, I have my email down in the description because these look incredible. And they're functional because they're a forged wheel, so they're very strong and durable, but also they're warrantied and I'm interested to see what the efficiency is compared to the stock wheel. I'm really happy with these, I'm kind of blown away can actually see the where it says Brembo right there. These are Brembo brakes on the Model Y. Brembo actually OEMs for most manufacturers. Damn. They're very durable, they're very strong. Maybe I'll end up selling them, uh, you know, ordering sets. It took four months for them to come in, so I may order like five or six sets and then have those for sale. But I have to see what your guy's interest is, and I'm gonna continue to test them because I, like if I'm gonna sell something, it makes me kind of nervous because I, I, like I take my sponsors and all that stuff seriously. So I wanna make sure I have a very quality product before I go and sell it. 
I think the price point of $4,000 is pretty good for a forged wheel. But again, there's companies like, you know, Unplugged makes great wheels. There's Martian wheels. There's a lot of good companies. I, I don't know, uh, you know, how this would fit into that, but that's where we're at. Let's do the efficiency test and see how it works. All right, there it is, 269 watt hours per mile. And again, that's with the roof rack on. It's going 70 miles per hour and I have the air on level six temperature set to 66. I don't know, there's there's things in this test that are certainly can cause error, but it seems to be about the same as the OEM wheels. So I hope you guys like the new wheels. And I'll have my email down below if you're interested in getting on a list, if I ended up selling them or something, then we'll figure that out. But I'll, I'll also make an announcement on the channel. Also, thanks to Testloid for sponsoring the video. Again, 10% off, linked down in the description. And if you guys wanna see me test the factory, 19 inch wheels versus the factory 20 inch wheels on a Tesla Model Y. Click this video right here. That'll give you a good explanation of that along with some other wheel tests.